Hi, I'm Sam from Sheridan Computers and in this video I'm going to go through how to install NetData on FreeBSD. Um, NetData is a monitoring tool, it can be used on physical machines, virtual machines. Um, it's really good for getting real-time statistics and um, I've got a project where I need to install it so we're going to go ahead and do this. If you'd like to hire us for any projects please head across to our website at sheridan.co.uk. If you click on the hire us button, um, fill out the form, leave some details on what you're looking for and we'll get back to you. Um, while you're on our website, you'll be able to see who we are, what we do, and some of the clients that we deal with. If you like this video, please um, take the time to actually hit the like button. And if you want to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification icon, you'll get notification of any new videos that we release. So uh, let's go ahead and um, get started installing this. I'm doing this on a fresh install of um, FreeBSD. So the first thing we need to do are to make sure that our packages are up to date. So package update. As you can see, we're up to date, we're good. Uh, I'm just going to do package install netdata. The list of dependencies that are required. Um, yeah, we just have to go and yes, proceed. Okay, so the net data package has been installed. Um, we need to edit the rc.conf file. Uh, in fact, I'm just going to do sys rc net data enable equals yes. It does the same thing. Um, and then we can go ahead and start net data. So it started. So at this point, we need to check um, that it's actually listening. So, so start minus four, minus six, grep, and seeing one, two, three. <coughs> so as you can see, net data is listening, um, but it's, a, it's listening on 127.0.0.1, so we're not gonna be able to access it unless we set up some firewall rules. Um, in this case, I'm just going to edit it to uh, listen on our IP address. So if we go into user, logo, etc. We are going to netdata, edit the netdata.conf file. Don't find the IP address that it's listening on here. And I'm going to change that to our IP address. Uh, disconnect title field, that's all we need to change in there. Um, since we've made the changes to the IP address that it's listening on, we need to uh, restart it. And again, check that it's listening. So now, as you can see, we're listening on our actual IP address of our machine. So now we should be able to put that IP address in with that port and we should be able to connect. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Um, one second. So as you can see, uh, we now have NetData installed. Um, so as I say, it gives you real-time statistics, real -time statistics of, your, um, of the system that it's monitoring. Uh, and you can see it has a lot of stats. So we can see CPU, memory, disks, um, ZFS file system, networking, both IPv4 and 6, network interfaces, applications, user groups, users, NTPD information. Um, you see every second net data collects 750 metrics. Um, so if we have a quick look through them, um, we can see our CPU usage. Uh, we can see disk U the state of all the disks and the current um, I/O stats. So, we'll go back to system overview. So, at the moment, um, this system's fairly idle. I've just set it up and I've set an NFS system up on it. I'm moving from free NAS over to um, a pure BSD system. 
um, purely because FreeNAS is using an older FreeBSD operating system and I've got some 10 gig network cards that I've had some issues with on the um, boot up with the system. Um, so let's put some load on it and um, actually see what happens. Okay, so I've set a virtual machine transferring. Um, we're transferring the uh, virtual machine file from FreeNAS onto this box. So as you can see, we can see the uh, network traffic coming in through the network card. And then being met into the disk and we can see all this in real time. We can see the uh, CPU it's using as the uh, machine's being transferred across. Uh, we can, you know, check the network statistics out. <coughs> we can see the network utilization. Um, we can also see our processes, what RAM we've got, the status of the uh, RAM usage. Um, we can check out our, let's say, CPU usage, which is um, fairly negligible on this. We take a look at our ZFS file system. So we can see uh, access times, the efficiency of the ZFS. Um, it has a lot of information on here. So again, under our network interfaces, we can see the um, data being transferred in and transferred out. We can see the uh, CPU usage of applications, disk usage of applications. Um, we can see memory usage of the applications, so the processes, um, the user groups. There is a lot of stats on this and a lot of information, so um, yeah, it's definitely worth loading onto a machine if you need real time statistics. Um, so we can see again, we've got more disk information down here, it shows the individual disks. Um, memory again, you can see uh, NTP information. Um, there's just a lot of stats on here. So I hope this video helps if you're looking for some form of um, real-time monitoring for your FreeBSD systems. Um, NetData is very popular and a lot of people use it. Um, if you like this video, please hit the like button, uh, consider subscribing to the channel and if you hit the notifications icon, you'll get notifications of any new videos as, we, as they are released, which I'm trying to do um, on a weekly basis. So that's it for this video, thank you so much.